Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today, I can't go outside in my orchid growing space very much. Uh, Tropical Storm Debbie is that way, just a little bit. And I'm gonna have to do an inside activity. I, but I've, had, I've got a lot of things um, planned that I can share with you. And today is just so happens to be an inside video. Maybe later on this afternoon uh, when the storm passes, I'll be able to get out there. We just had a uh, tornado warning uh, a little while ago. So it's inside, but now I can come out and you may be hearing some thunder uh, in the background. And that's just what happens here. Um, so what I wanted to do today is just tell you about um, sharing information. What I like to do on my channel is share valid information. My background is as a scientist, um, a plant scientist, and I've uh, I've done that for you know all of my career, and even since I retired a few years ago, I'm still active in the laboratory. I'm sure you've you've seen that, uh, and I try to share information that is scientifically valid. Uh, before I retired, and for quite a few years, I have served as a reviewer for manuscripts and grants that uh, that come into me, uh, and I was also the editor in chief of a scientific journal where I got to look at the look at the work that came in, evaluate it for you know validity, authenticity, uh, scientific accuracy, and and even recently I just uh, submitted a chapter to a book that a colleague is writing uh, along with a former graduate student and postdoc in my laboratory. Um, and part of that chapter was a section called The Rush to Publish. Now in that area, th th there's real pressure to publish work and get the work out um, in the scientific community. And this is present with, in, in some countries more than others, and from some backgrounds and cultures more than others, but there's always pressure to good at, get out good scientific publications. And in the Rush to Publish, publish section of my chapter, I highlighted um, articles that had been published that hadn't been properly peer reviewed or that ended up not being valid, where there was just such a push to get these things out that they were published and then they, they were just, it was crap. And so I highlight this and I'm one of the few people <laughs> that does this because it, it, I, it, I think that the truth should be told and it doesn't impact. Um, you know, it doesn't impact me very much. Um, maybe some other people it does, but I have no problem telling the truth and putting good information out there. And if something is bad, it shouldn't be published or I like to come out and say that it is bad and it shouldn't be published. Um, in this area, there were, so there was a few different types of things that could be published. There were people that just didn't, didn't know any better and that's no excuse, but that's one thing. And then there's other papers and other situations where the data was clearly falsified, where images were manipulated and the data was bad. And there are ways that you can see that. But some cases, as you know, it's really hard to detect. Okay, so what does this have to do with anything on my channel? Well, um, what I've seen a lot of on different social media and even in YouTube is there's a lot of information that's presented as scientifically scientifically valid that just doesn't work. So in, in some of these videos where people report doing, you know, an extract of garlic or, an, or taking banana peels and soaking it in water and dumping it on the orchids where they report this and they report these incredible results. Um, and, you know, it, many of these things, it doesn't work like that. Just, just water your plants, use a little fertilizer, and you'll get better results. Um, you know, there may be some, for example, if you do an extract of, of garlic, sure, some, some, some extracts of garlic have been shown to have some antimicrobial activity, but for the most part, and, and maybe some additional nutrients, but for the most part, 
you know, just water. You know, rainwater is fine with a little fertilizer uh, is fine. Some people on YouTube have taken advantage of this and they report bad information and they lure you in with, um, you know, false promises and information and, and show images in their thumbnails that are manipulated. They're fake. Um, and so the title of my video today is, you know, Orchid Fakes, because there are so many of these videos that are out. And, and what happens as a result of this um, is some of these faked videos get just, you know, hundreds of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of views. All right, though, what does this mean? If you're entertained by this, fine. Watch those. Sit back, laugh, have a good time. If you are impacted by these where that looks good, look at the incredible flowers and roots that they have on that orchid, I'm going to try this. Then you're wasting your time. And what I want to do is share with you um, some of those, not the videos per se, but some of the thumbnails and some of the claims that some of these YouTube contributors are making. Okay, so why is this important? Well, they, they generate revenue. On YouTube, you can generate revenue, and if you have a million views, you're making money from the advertisers. So the advertisers are paying money for all these people that are watching these, even though the information is false. And I just, I don't think that that's appropriate to do that. Okay, so <laughs> what, what do we want to do? I'm, I'm not going to name anyone but I'll show you some of these pictures and I, I just want you to you know think about as, as you're looking at these thumbnails and it's too good to be true you know it is um, but anyway I thought it'd be fun to highlight some of these things to show you what they do um, and then I have an image of an orchid plant that I'm going to manipulate and show you how that manipulation is done and make it look, it looked pretty good in the start, but at the end it looks spectacular. So um, what I'm gonna do is get behind the camera and get on my computer and share with you a PowerPoint that I put together where I can show you what type of thumbnails these YouTube um, producers are making and how those thumbnails were manipulated. I'll show you the manipulation and just show you how silly all of this is. All right, so I'm going to go to my computer and, and show you the, the really funny PowerPoint that I put together. Okay, here we go. So um, what I wanna do again is show you some of the thumbnails, I've either got individual thumbnails or a collection of those from some of the, uh, some of the faked um, fraud videos that you see on YouTube. So let me take a look at the first one. And this is kind of an indicator of uh, what's going on. And, and these videos, they all talk about similar things. And that is if you add something to your orchids, you're gonna get orchids that look like this. So this is, um, you know, this is a phalaenopsis. And as you can see from this, when you add whatever's going on here, this must be a huge plant, by the way. And it's a phalaenopsis and it's tall and it has more flowers than you're ever gonna get on a phalaenopsis. Oh, and I should say there's really nice music that plays in the background. So, you know, if you watch these and you're relaxing and having a good time, well, you know, go ahead. Uh, but the reality of it is that this is, um, this is fraud. This is a fake and this is not what you're going to get. And when you look at this, especially in the scientific literature, if you present the same image in different papers that talk about the same, that talk about different things and different protocols, well, you can't do that. That again is, is, is fraud. It's, it's scientifically invalid. And so what you have here is the last thumbnail that I showed you where he's, you know, he or she is pouring this on the plant, getting this incredible growth. I think this is um, milk right here that is, you know, going on this orchid. And it, the interesting thing, it's the same orchid. You can't do that. This, I assume, is tea. And what you got is 101,000 views on this. So 
people are watching it, people are enjoying it. I hope people aren't doing it, but I, I don't know. And then of course, the tomato. So it, you know, what if you put all these things together, what are you gonna get? But then there's more. So here's another one. I think this is coffee on the top left here where they add coffee and they got the same orchid that they get in all the other ones. 1.2 million views on this video. So this person's making a lot of money from this through YouTube and they're providing false information to the to the public. And I again, I just don't think that's appropriate. This of course is garlic. Uh, you get a lot of garlic videos. I'm not sure what this is. This might be rice or rice extract and this is this might be honey. But these are things that kind of happen over and over again. Okay, so let's take, and this person, they spent a lot of time apparently making this one thumbnail and this is the thumbnail that they use for all of these different videos, which again is inappropriate and is fraud. Okay, so let's take a look at this and what's going on. So this Phalaenopsis, if you take a close look at the, let's let, take a look at the roots first. So if you take a look at the roots, you can see that these roots here in the middle of the plant and the ones below it and the ones below that, those were all copied and pasted. They were replicated. So this is a fake image where these roots clearly they were the same. It's interesting, this group right here and this group right here, they tried to put it in there, they reversed it. So the big root is on the right here and the big root is on the left. But it's the same, you know, it's the same thing. And this is, um, you know, this is, this is fake. And then you can see right here, same thing. You have this root, the same as this root. So this is duplicated. And then you have these roots that are, I don't know where this one is even coming from, but you have these roots also that were copied and pasted. When you look at the flowers, it's the same type of thing. I mean, this person is good at, at faking these things, but you have the same flower spike here, 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 all of these are the same flower spike and they're done well. So they're put behind the leaves, they're put behind the plant. Um, you know, the ones that are coming out of the plant itself, these are, the, they're all the same. You look at them, it's interesting, you know, some, they're reversed sometimes, part of them are reversed sometimes, but you look at the patterns. That's the most important thing, is you look at the patterns of these flower, buds coming out and these spikes that are coming out and you can see how this is the same as this is the same as this is the same as this and they're all the same. It doesn't just look similar, it's exactly the same. And again, these flowers are again taken out and pasted back in there and reversed or done whatever needed to be do in order to make it look good. So these are <laughs> these are all faked thumbnails that lure you into watching this video and if the thumbnail is crap and fake and forged and fraud fraudulent then the contents of the video are likely as well and they are all right so let me take a look and let me show you and I'm, I'm pretty good at doing these these types of manipulations if I need to it's more to improve the quality of the image than to fake you're not allowed to fake I'm not a faker I don't do fraud and I certainly don't do it intentionally to draw people in. So let me take a look at, let's take a look at this plant right here. So this is my orchid and this is Momolani Rainbow and it's a nice plant. Um, there's a couple of um, flower buds coming out. There's a couple, there's a few blooms that are open. Uh, this flower right here that looks kind of nasty, there's a tag so I pollinated this. But you know, it's a nice plant. So, but what I want to show you is what you can do with manipulation of this image. So you take a look, this flower, these two flower buds right here. So I copied and pasted those flower buds in the next slide. And so let's take a look at it. I think it comes up maybe in the middle of the orchid. Yeah, it comes up right here. So I copied and pasted it and, and kind of inverted it and shoved it behind the flower. So you can see that I took this original bud and I make more copies of it here. And I'm doing it again in the next slide right here. So I had two more flower buds that I had show up and I did it one more. See this almost dead pseudobulb? Watch that one on the lower right. And I put a couple of extra flowers coming out buds on this dead pseudobulb, okay? And this is starting to take shape, but what else can you do?
And so if I copy and paste some flowers, I can do this. So I took this group of flowers right here. I'm going to back up and move forward. This group of flowers right here, and I pasted it on the upper right here. And I did more of that. So I took that same two group of flowers and I put it in the middle of the spot. I just shoved them in there. And again, you can do these types of manipulations pretty well here. And then I think I took just a single flower and put it right here. All right, so you can do, again, these types of manipulations and you can take a nice plant and make it look outstanding. Now, one thing that I did and that I then fixed is I have these two flowers on the top right are blocking the original buds, the, the, the unopened buds that I used. Oh, I'm sorry. I put some more flowers here that I forgot about. All right, so back up put some more flowers in there. You can't tell where they're coming from and they're fake and they're just, I, I guess I had an open spot in there, but I put it behind these fake buds here. And then I covered up the original buds here. So we took a look at that and I moved them more to the right coming out of who knows where. Okay, so as we take a look at the Photoshop manipulated plant, that is the thumbnail for my video today. Isn't it beautiful? It's fake, it's fraudulent, but it is a beautiful plant and you can do these types of manipulations in Photoshop and get away with it. And, and, and some people do and you get a lot of views. Now take a look at the original plant is here and then again the final plant that is manipulated is here and it does look a little bit nicer. It's got open, more open flowers, more buds and, and you do this stuff. Okay, let's go back and I want to show you how to look for this. So you got to look, you got to know how orchids grow, you got to know where the flowers come from, you got to know where the roots come from in order to spot this. And again when I was an editor for my scientific journal you, could, you knew how things were supposed to look and sometimes they didn't look right. So let's Let's go back, original image, uh, next one here, and then let's go back and take a look at some of these faked um, thumbnails where, again, rice was on. This is interesting. This is bread. This is bread. Did you know you could take bread and add it to your orchid and get this kind of root growth? Um, but you look at these things and you look at the roots and you can say, you know, where are these roots coming from that look like this? And again, this is interesting because they just reversed the whole image from the left top to the right top and they use that as the uh, you know as the thumbnail for their video. Take a look at the bottom left and you have all of these flower buds and flower spikes that look the same. I mean it looks impressive but you know here's one on the on the bottom left. Where where is this one coming from? Okay, it's coming directly out of that, you know, this flower spike on this phalaenopsis is coming it looks like out of the pot itself. And so, you know, you look at this and you go, wait a minute, what's going on? And then on the right here, this is, oh, and this is, they're comparing sphagnum moss and they say that rocks are better, but they have sphagnum moss in all of the other pots here to cover up their manipulation of the images. Um, over here, it's another story, onion. You add onion to this, you get this incredible, incredible growth with these. I mean, but look at all of these are the same. All these flower spikes on this fowl on the right are exactly the same. So let me take a look at one more image that, that was generated. And this is a new thumbnail. Again, got a ton of views. And this is a favorite that people like to use. There's, you know, there's garlic. I'm surprised I didn't find a banana in here anywhere. But this is aloe. And a lot of people like saying that aloe will cure everything and it'll make your orchids grow wonderfully. Um, you know, rub it on the leaves, make an extract, soak it in water all this stuff. Um, you can do incredible things um, with, with aloe, supposedly. But look at the, you know, some, the roots. When you look at them, this batch of roots right here is the same, that's below the arrow, is the same of this batch of roots right here that looks like it's coming out of the base of the plant. And as a mirror image of this batch of roots right here, to the right of the plant, which is the same as the batch of roots to the far right of the plant. As you go back, these are, this is interesting because these, this is the same batch of roots that's just turned sideways. And then we have this batch of roots that's smaller and turned sideways. So you can, you look at this and you look at the shape of the roots and what's going on. So you see this main root here, small root coming out of it, 
main root here, small root coming out of it, main root here and over and over again. And these are the types of manipulations that people do that if you know what you're looking at, you can spot these fakes uh, and these frauds really easily. Okay, so I just wanted to share this in, oh, and I should say that this flower spike here is probably valid. This looks like a decent plant, um, but the roots, the roots are fake, they're frauds. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you can click on likes, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, I got one more image, one more fake image I wanted to share with you. So all of these orchids right here, these are all, I mean, clearly the blue colored and this interesting green and lime green colored, uh, they're, th these are manipulated and I use these as, um, for my members, uh, as, as as, uh, you know as icons that we can use um, for my channel for for members but all of these images that I have of these orchids these are my orchids but they're perfectly symmetrical because I made them that way uh, again I don't share them as real images of orchids clearly the, the you know the fake coloration on these you can tell but some of these you might be you know, you might be impressed, but you know, don't be. They're perfectly symmetrical because I cut the left side of the flower, I reversed it and added it to the right side of the flower to make these perfectly symmetrical orchids that I don't use for anything other than to put them in comments. So these are, these are my orchid emojis that I use in comments for my members. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed my video and happy propagating.